September 1st. Are you taking a picture of my shoes? These are, yeah. these are really pretty. Nice. I think I've got a little bit of breakfast on my Those shoes right are here. coming out September 1st of 2012, uh, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Wait, no, what really releases I, I on? I think these are pretty cool shoes, actually. I, I don't want to mind these shoes. They're really comfortable. So, yeah, so we're, uh, we're, we're about to have a floors moment. Um, I'm, I've got a little pile of floor stuff here. I love this series so much. I grew up on uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and was a big Raoul Dahl fan and this was inspired by that because I visited a lot of hotels, these kind of strange hotels when I was on vacation. Maybe, maybe uh, with my, uh, what are you doing? Display the book. Right, display the book. I uh, <laughs> think I have never done this before. Uh, anyway, I went to a lot of hotels when I was a kid and they were along the Oregon coast. So they, were, they, they tend to be a little bit odd, especially back in the 1970s they were. And so I used to think that these hotels had a lot of hidden secret things in them, just like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And I was reading that book too. So that's kind of the, the sort of, you know, brew that this thing all sort of came out of was, uh, was those, those early childhood experiences. That's what the hotel looks like. You've never seen it. That's the Whippet Hotel. And this book has been doing so great. It's been winning awards left and right. It's a Parents' Choice Award. It is a, it's on the shortlist for the Rhode Island uh, Book of the Year Award. And um, it's on the UK for the, for the entire country. It's on their list to go out to kids for summer reading. It's just been great to see it doing really well. It's such a fun book. Uh, but I'm talking about it because the second one is gonna come out, and I've got a copy of it right here, in, on September 1st, 2012. And, um, it's even wackier than the first one was. The first book goes all upstairs in this hotel. So it goes all into the sort of every weird hidden floor inside this cool little hotel. Um, the second book, Three Below, this one goes, can you probably guess? Or should I give you like four seconds to guess or three? Three Two, Below. Do you want to guess? One. Okay, Jeremy, what is Three Below? What is that? The, maybe below the, the floor. No, it actually takes place in wintertime. It's, a, it's, a cold, <laughs> it's super it's cold. A, it's actually one of those ice hotels. No, it does. It takes place. There are three hidden floors underneath the hotel, and that's where floors two, three below goes all into these cool. You can kind of tell it's got a bunch of gears and all these strange places uh, hidden underneath the hotel. It's just so. And fun. there's a and there's a mad scientist down there, and there are some weird monkeys down there, and there are. Uh, Is there scientists? There's monkeys? a realm of gears. These huge gears. They have to kind of run around and try to turn things on and off, and it's just uh, is it what scientist monkeys? Did you tell uh, me scientists? Monkey scientists. Monkey scientists. Something like that. There are monkeys in it. <laughs> And ducks, of course, because you always want to bring a duck in a florist book. So that's coming out. And if you want to pre-order it, boy, would I be happy. You can get it anywhere, probably go anywhere online. You could probably go to IWantToBuyThisBookOnline.com and it would probably take you to wherever you can get these. You know, you can get them anywhere these days. But uh, you know where to go. I don't want to, like, you know, play favorites. But pre-order it. I would love that. Or just it's going to be available on September 1, which is coming up. And... Um, and we'll go from there. This is also kind of fun to look at really quick. The, the book is uh, doing really well in Germany, and I love the cover of this book. It's been translated into a bunch of languages. I just think that's a really fun. This lady on the cover, that's Mrs. Sparks from the story. And you can see the little trail of ducks going through it. It's funny how they, this, so this, this story, I love this. This story is the same exact story as this story. I love that, The different cultures take a different uh, view of what books should look like, really fun. So you can read it in German if you want to, although I don't know where you'd buy it. Can you read us a little bit in German, please? I could, I could read you a little bit. Can you please just... Well, the name of the book in German is Strengthen Verboten. I think I spit a little bit on the camera on that one. Uh, you know what's funny is when they, when they talk in these books, they don't use quotes. They use these weird little double arrow, like greater than symbols. Okay, so read us a little passage. <sighs> Mom! Leo, <laughs> uh, you can't read this. Uh, I'm gonna just mess this up. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. noch in Kist Gufenden. I think I spit all over my arm again. That's a very spitty language German is. I think I might have just said, go buy this book online. We will thank you for that. All right, so that's the Floors Day. Uh, always a lot going on. We'll, we'll update you again soon. And thanks for hanging out.